This nugget is on food chains and food webs. All living things need food. From their food, living organisms get the nutrients that they need. Here are some living things. Do you think you could put them in order of who eats who? Here is the answer. It's important to remember that the arrows show the direction of energy transfer. The energy in the clover is transferred into the snail, the energy in the snail is transferred into the frog, and so on. It is a common mistake to draw the arrows pointing the wrong way. So make sure the arrows show the direction of energy transfer. Now it's your turn. Pause the video and have a go at drawing a food chain with the following animals. Label the producer and consumers in your food chain. So we have a grasshopper, a rat, corn and a snake. Here was the answer. Remember the arrows show the direction of energy transfer. So the energy in the corn goes into the grasshopper, which goes into the rat, which goes into the snake. The corn is the producer and the grasshopper, rat and snake are consumers. Here we have another food chain. The thistle, to moth, to damselfly, to spotted flycatcher. At each level of a food chain, some energy is lost. This is because organisms use energy to stay warm, move and reproduce. Only about 10% of the energy available at one level is transferred to the next. You will know that animals tend to eat more than one type of food. This means they will appear in more than one food chain. So here you can see that the snail is in both of these food chains. Food webs show us how the different food chains link up. So we have lettuce to snail to thrush to hawk, lettuce to snail to hedgehog to fox, lettuce to snail to hedgehog to hawk, lettuce to rabbit to fox, grass to rabbit to hawk, lettuce to rabbit to hawk, and grass to rabbit to fox. Now it's your turn again. Pause the video and have a go at drawing some food chains with the following animals. See how many food chains you can make. Maybe even challenge yourself to link them all up into a food web. There are 16 possible food chains. Corn to rat to fox. Corn to rat to snake to fox. Corn to grasshopper to rat to fox. Corn to grasshopper to frog to fox. Corn to grasshopper to frog to rat to fox. Corn to grasshopper to frog to snake to fox. Corn to grasshopper to rat to snake to fox. Corn to grasshopper to frog to rat to snake to fox. You will notice that most of the food chains only have a few links. The longest food chains normally only contain about five organisms. This is due to the energy being lost at each level. Here are the answers with the flowering plant as the producer, flowering plant to rat to fox, flowering plant to rat to snake to fox, flowering plant to butterfly to frog to fox, flowering plant to butterfly to rat to fox, flowering plant to butterfly to frog to rat to fox, flowering plant to butterfly to frog to snake to fox, Flowering plant to butterfly to rat to snake to fox. Flowering plant to butterfly to frog to rat to snake to fox. And here is the answer with the food web. Corn to rat to fox. Corn to rat to snake to fox. Corn to grasshopper to rat to fox. Corn to grasshopper to frog to fox. Corn to grasshopper to frog to rat to fox. Corn to grasshopper to frog to snake to fox. Corn to grasshopper to rat to snake to fox. Corn to grasshopper to frog to rat to snake to fox. Flowering plant to rat to fox. Flowering plant to rat to snake to fox. Flowering plant to butterfly to frog to fox. 
flowering plant to butterfly to rat to fox, flowering plant to butterfly to frog to rat to fox, flowering plant to butterfly to frog to snake to fox, flowering plant to butterfly to rat to snake to fox, flowering plant to butterfly to frog to rat to snake to fox. To summarise, a food chain shows us part of a food web. Food chains start with a producer and end with the top predator. A food web shows us how all the food chains in an ecosystem link together. In both food chains and food webs, the arrows show the direction of energy transfer. Energy is lost at each stage of a food chain. Keywords. Producer an organism that makes its own food using sunlight. Consumer, an organism that eats other organisms. Predator, an animal that hunts other animals for food.